<laughs> it is. I got carried away. Why am I here again? Oh, yeah. Not to talk about nachos. Let's discuss the weather today and see what's happening. Pollen, you love it. You know it. Tree, grass, still high. I know Reba this morning, she and I were talking about that, and uh, it's still a struggle. Mold is always with us. We love our mold here in Richmond. Uh, 77 is the average high. The sun rose this morning at 602, sets at 810. The winds are the story today because they will not be like yesterday. Yesterday we had those gusts we were talking about, but today not as bad. So we'll have similar temperatures, mid 60s, but not nearly as windy. 43 degrees, it's a cold start. We had some low 30s south side today. Mid 30s were off to the west. But now we're rebounding. 35 in Louisa, 38 down in Emporia, so you folks are rebounding. Kilmarnock, good morning, Lancaster County, 46 mm. over on the northern neck currently. Well, 65 today, 44 tonight, 69 tomorrow. So we're going to start to warm up a little bit tomorrow. The average, as I mentioned, is 77. We'll get there by about Thursday, and then after that, the cap is off. We'll be let loose for temperatures. Summertime stuff gets here. It's going to be hot. It's not going to be oppressively humid. But overnight lows will at least fall into the lower 60s, which is better than mid 70s like we get in the middle of summer. Rain chances now start to dry out because high pressure ridge will now be our dominant force instead of a persistent low pressure. So we'll tend to be drier, but with heat, you can get some convective showers and storms. So just some isolated storms through the weekend and into early next week. But outside of that, the big change. Look at that. We had frost advisories this morning. Can you believe that? and then we get to 90 degrees in the seven day forecast. Only in Virginia, folks, you go from frost to 90 in a simple week. 40s to 60s then for your overnight low temperatures. Reva and Rob, back to you. That looks good. All right.